Welcome back. Oh, I'm happy to be back. We're happy to have you back. Yeah, it's see my buddy Michael. Yes, yes, and I'm looking at your shoes. Now, those are fancy shoes. You well, got you know, you got to step it up a little bit. Little in bit. You know? yeah. I mean, the Pope is here. I'm competing for airtime. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're we're neck and neck, though. You know. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Now, I, I understand that you live in Santa Barbara, which to me sounds like paradise. Yeah. It sounds like it a is. fantasy. It is. Do you go anywhere to escape Santa Barbara? <laughs> yeah, I, I recently discovered this new place called Florida. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I Have know you it's crazy. Have Miami? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I like this too. It used to be rediscovered. I used to go there every week with you. <laughs> no, I, I, I. Uh, well, I discovered the west coast of uh, uh, Florida. Yeah. Beautiful. The water's warm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the, the the waves aren't quite so dramatic, so mm -hmm. the kids can go in and. You know, and I can fall asleep and don't have to worry about them drowning or anything. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the water on the, on the West Coast is freezing cold. Yeah, you can't. The, you have to be a seal. Yeah. To, no, in California, the water, the water is cold. Oh, you mean you mean out in California? Yeah, out yeah. in California, yeah, yeah, it's cold. Yeah, that but, West Coast. But but yeah. you you were mentioning that you can leave, you let your kids go in the water and not worry. But you have five kids. You have, six. You, six. Six. Yeah. Wow. But you have yeah. three young kids. Couldn't figure out what caused it. <laughs> I got four, haven't um, figured it out yet myself. We know what caused, we know what caused all those kids. Yeah. Yeah. But, you, but you, have, you have three young kids, and, and do you think they'll follow in your footsteps? Well, um, my youngest is pretty talented. He's a very, I mean, kind of a virtuoso um, uh, uh, pianist, guitar. He, he can play any instrument. If he wow. picks... If, if he picks up an instrument, he can play it instantly. He writes these amazing songs. And I mean, it's not, look, I've got six kids. I don't have any reason to, right. you know, favor one over the other. I, I love them. I tell them that. Though. Yeah, right. I say, like, you're my favorite. Right, right. <laughs> and I tell each and every one of them that. <laughs> and I think they, you know, they don't talk to each other. They don't say it to each other. So, But um, my 13-year-old my boy is an athlete. Oh. Mm. And a gifted athlete. What sport? Basketball. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He's tall and long and yeah, he, he's got it going on. Any of your kids will follow in your footsteps? Um, Deacon might. Um, I, I, there's one out there that, um, mm -hmm. that's kind of making her own way. She's yeah, doing pretty yeah. good. Right, of course. She's doing really well. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah. A, she's a doll. My, I think that my son, Joaquin, may follow in your footsteps. I don't know if I ever showed you this picture when you were here before, but he was... Was you it our son together? Uh, no, it was our son. Oh. Well, it could be. Check out this picture of my son. Yeah, that's he's when he was, yeah. <laughs> That's he one of mine. That's mine. <laughs> that was, that's, yeah. So. <laughs> You can see the resemblance. He's been asking for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring out Maury Povich. And get this <laughs> but but when you when you were what kind of kid? How, what 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 did you want to be when you were a kid though? Uh, well, I, I actually um, I. I I thought I would be a lounge singer. Yeah. You know, cause, really? Yeah, from, I'm from back in the day when that was cool. You know, Tony right. Bennett and Frank yeah. Sinatra and stuff like that. Because I started out as a, as a singer and singing in my grandfather's God, uh, gospel church and stuff like that. And, and so um, it, it just kind of evolved into um, um, theater and stuff like that. It worked. It's great. See, that's, yeah, where, that's where they're all getting it from, right? You're, you're, the, oh, the acting, the, the music, all I of them. don't know. I mean, I thought, uh, I, I, you know, I'm looking at these kids and I'm going, wow, they're so competitive. How do how they get so competitive? My wife's going, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how'd that happen? That's weird. <laughs> well, you know, we got to take a quick break. And um, we're gonna, when we come back, we're going to find out why you call your character on Blood and Oil a wild cat. Mm. Wow. We'll be right back with Don Johnson. from the new show, Blood and Oil. Scary. Yeah, yeah, it's a good show. Tell us about it. I've got it. this fantastic cast I'm working with. Amber Valletta, Chase Crawford. You guys all know yeah, Chase yeah, Crawford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Scott Michael Foster, India de Beaufort, uh, Rebecca Rittenhouse, who is so beautiful that it makes your teeth hurt. And um, um, let's see, um, we have some others, Aiden Canto. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic cast. And it's all set in this boomtown atmosphere of North Dakota. Yeah. And, uh, um, uh, and I play the, the, the oil tycoon who is, uh, I, am, I am deliciously diabolical. Oh, <laughs> that's you know? my favorite kind of diabolical. <laughs> You said that your character is like a wild cat. Yeah. So he, tell us what makes him a wild cat. Well, he's a, he's a, 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 there's a term in the oil business called wild catter. Mm -hmm. His money and he controls this whole town and, and nothing moves without him knowing it. And there's all these secrets and relationships and. I'm not going to give it away, but you're going to like Don, it. Don, I've got to tell you, I'm looking at you, and you have this glimmer in your eye. Yeah. It is, I'm like, I cannot wait to see this show. I'm dying uh, to see this show. I, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I was saying backstage, ever since I saw this um, the, the, the commercial, I was like, I really want yeah, to hooked. see this show. And uh, you know what? We're excited that you're back here in New York City. And you were first here, was it your first time here back in 1969 when you shot your first movie? <laughs> yes, I was. There you look are. At, there you are. Look at, yeah. there you look are. at me. I, I, I look like street trade there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. 1969, my hair was orange and they tried to, because I'd been doing a, a musical where they had to take my hair red. Oh. And so I got this big movie for MGM and they said, well, we'll just have to bleach out his eyebrows. So they, they tried to bleach out my eyebrows. They turned orange. So we just went, <laughs> we just went with orange. <laughs> Fantastic. We are so glad to have you here, and I oh, cannot wait you. to see you. Thank you. Sunday at 9, that's a good time spot. On ABC, make sure you check out Don Johnson and Blood and Oil.